It's part two of our Ariane special, and this week we talk spectacular shiny graphics with Modmark's OIO and talk strange cool sound effects and working with voices and music as well with Mod Ian. When we began working on Ariane, uh, the Wizard's Tower, we knew that graphically we wanted to make something look spectacular that really did the story justice. We worked with John A on the original concepts for the Ariane quest. Uh, he gave us ideas on what the characters should look like. Uh, from there we developed a concept artwork and created models and an environment around the Ariane character. There are a number of new pieces of music written for the Ariane quest. Uh, we wanted the place to have its own feel and atmosphere, so it was important that we did this. It's quite challenging to get the right feel for an area, um, so I was looking for somewhere like a very quiet kind of library or university with maybe some little sort of mumblings and shuffling of feet. And then I mix those together with some kind of magical twinkles and ambience and various bookshelves that are moving around and people walking around, and the whole place feels like a kind of an unusual sort of magical library, hopefully. The end result of the Ariane quest, the Ariane character in particular, looks really cool. And the environment that the quest takes place in is something that we sort of push the limits for. There is something that I haven't really seen in RuneScape before. It's a giant beam of light going down multiple levels in a tower. And as if that wasn't enough, there's like a character being levitated in the beam of light. So I, I didn't think that would actually work, but we pushed the limits and kind of made the engine work for us. To overcome some of the, uh, the difficulties we had with the Ariane quests, uh, primarily with getting the special effects to work with the environment, it's just a case of doing it like again and again, trying to test out different methods just to see what would work. In the end, it was just a result of a lot of trial and error, so I think the overall effect is re pretty spectacular. I really like it when areas are, are remade in RuneScape because it breathes new life into an area and I think the audio can add a lot to the experience at that point. I really enjoy it when I can see great graphics and it means I can make cool sounds to fit an area. Room Mysteries and Room Memories are both fully voice acted, as is the um, rework of the Wizard's Tower. So from the moment you cross the bridge onto the Wizard's Tower island, all the dialogue should be voice acted. Yes, I'm, I'm making good progress. In the Room Mysteries quest and in the Room Memories quest, we had a whole host of wizards that we needed to voice. Every wizard in the Wizard's Tower, Ariane, all the characters, it was a really large amount of people. First thing, just having a look at it. Well, enemies are the one who must taste the flames of our wrath. Wrath, wrath, wrath. We need to clear out the trolls or the trolls? Trolls. Trolls. We need to clear out the trolls! This power beam. So, Kelevan's idea worked. I still think a green wizard would have come up with it eventually. We really liked the person that we chose for Ariane's voice because I think she's very believable as a real person and she's got the right mix of intelligence and an interesting wizard type. I think I'm close to finding out what happened here. I could use your help again if you're interested. I work on portals and... Voice acting, especially when it's consistent, when everyone's voice acted, lends much more sense of immersion and I think It'll be fun seeing some of the old characters now given voices, especially with the Trayborn, who um, I've always found very amusing. Hearing that old dialogue voice acted, it was good to hear. They're not to be trusted. That's what I've heard, anyway. The best thing about working as a character artist is I uh, basically get to make crazy, cool, over-the-top stuff, like swords and goblins and monsters, and I get paid for it. So I get to make really cool magical sounds. There's really crazy wizards in there. There's, there's fools, there's demons, there's magical spells. I mean, what, what more do you want from a, a sound design point of view? Making things that I'd probably want to see as a game player myself is pretty rewarding. I think we've really hit the nail on the head with this quest, and uh, after viewing the comments from last week's behind the scenes video, I think the community agrees. The Brink of Extinction is the climactic conclusion to the Tsar Quest storyline, and next week, we go behind the scenes of this Grandmaster adventure to find out more.